You know, once again, I my channel is not about making any money. It's just uh, I've been negligent. I haven't brought you any footage of um, what's been going on in the war. You know, I, I do think it's important, that, you know, as my viewers or the American people see what war is all about or what it is. And, you know, I'm sure the music in this is copyrighted, and I, I don't have a problem with that. If they want to come after me, I'm... I don't make any money off of any of this. I'm just trying to show people what's going on. and uh, But this is just incredible, incredible footage that, you know, Russian television shows uh, that just doesn't get out to the American people. And if our mainstream media would show some of this, I think that um, it would be a whole different situation in the country. Because uh, anyway, that's that's all that I try to do. So let's let's just watch this. So I'll mute that. Maybe they won't get me on copyright on the music, but uh, look at this battle taking place. I mean, this is what's going on. And you know what? Someday in the United States, uh, I think if things go the way they are and 85% of the world hating us every day uh, for what we've done in all of our wars in Iraq and Syria and everywhere else, and with all the munitions now that we're selling to Ukraine, you know, and of course the congressmen are, they're all making huge amounts of profit. They don't give a crap. Uh, and of course the Biden administration, they don't care. They're all profiting by all of this and in the deep state of the government. All these weapons are pouring into Mexico and all the countries around the world. These things are going to be used on us someday. And so, you know, if you're an American citizen, I, I'd like you to kind of consider that this is may what come to your town one day. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's overseas. It seems like a, 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 a video game or whatever you're looking at. Let's just watch this. And, and this is a rescue operation. And that's why this is kind of a positive, motivating video. I wanted to start with this one. Let's check this out. Whoops, sorry. See so there, they're getting into the vehicle. Now you saw the fire that he put down in cover to be able to pick these troops up. Look at him, still firing down range. Of course they put it to music and that's why it's always hard to show these videos to you because they come under copyright but look at it look at it from above let me cause the music i'm sure that's enough that they already copyrighted this but the, anyway check out the fire coming down range look at that those are just the tracer rounds by the way so there are many more rounds uh, that are going i mean this look at look at the explosions did you see them look at look at the fire coming across the river so that's the first video I wanted you to see. This is um, this is another one. So this is when, uh, by the way, when I started po uh, posting on the um, the counteroffensive as a result of what was happening with the uh, Wagner troops uh, moving through Russia. Guess what was going on on the uh, front of Ukraine? Once again, copyright on that. So this this is what was taking place all across the front because uh, the Ukrainians were coming in. They were trying to mass uh, another offensive. Um, uh, look at the Western hardware that's going to get destroyed right here. And this is what I'm telling you. This war is over. They, they the Russians are just obliterating everything watch well i'm sorry it's just so depressing it's so horrible and our leaders want all the ukrainians to die that's the only they're they're evil people uh, 
Now look at the vehicle. He's trying to escape. He's trying to get away. He realizes he came into a cauldron. Uh, there you go. And there's another explosion. So that finished off that vehicle. How many troops died right there, huh? You know, that's the depressing thing. We think we're watching a video game. This is real people dying. And this is why I find it unacceptable that the American people allow this to take place. This is why General Milley and General Austin, who know this is going on, they're informed on this every day. What, what does that say for them? Okay, a friend of mine told me, he said, you can't call them out, but so much. Okay, so let's call them out. So let's say, okay, General Milley and Austin, what do you think of this carnage? As a military officer, and you allow this to take place, what does that say for them? Huh? You tell me. I'm not going to pass judgment. That's up to God. Let's hit another one. Now watch this. Oh, there comes the Ukrainians trying to get in. Another offensive. This is all took place while I was watching the Wagner mutiny. Sorry about the music, but I, I'm just not going to cut it out. I know this is copyrighted. They want to come after me. Come after me. I don't make no damn money. Now look at the soldiers. At least they escaped, thank God. They're running from the vehicle. I don't know how many are injured. They're running across the field. How much do Americans want to put up with? I, I just can't imagine that veterans just don't come up in arms and say anything about what's taking place. That's the problem that I have with my veterans organization in my community. That's why I'm persona, non grata, anywhere among veterans organizations, the Marine Corps leg, American Legion, the VFW, they won't talk to me. They, won't any, they don't want anything to do with me because I'm calling them out. I'm saying, how can you as a veteran put up with this? Okay, these aren't American soldiers. This is what we're doing. And one last video. This is it. I, I'm done torturing you, but this is an amazing... This shows you... This, I just want to show you what a T-80 tank looks like. And you think a Leopard or, a, 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 you know, the, our best U.S. tanks, the Abram, is going to come up against this beastie? Let's just watch this. Look at that firepower. Good God. Look at the maneuverability. Do you see it turn? I mean, lawnmowers can't even turn like that. Look at him. He's backing off. Turret down. Fire it again. Holy smoly. I wanted to say a different word. I'm trying to keep it clean here. For whatever reason, people dying. Look at this footage that gets put out about Russia. Why do you think they support the war? Are we seeing any footage from the Ukraine side like this? Okay, so I got to stop right there. I didn't realize that this had that footage in there. All right, so that's it for this video. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the firepower of a T-80 tank and uh, just express my feelings on all of this. I just... I can't believe, well, and this is one, one last, Russia strikes and destroys the uh, munitions here. Well, there's no footage, but uh, we've been, basically Russia has hit about, uh, at least as far as I can tell in the last four days, about five or six ammo dumps. 
So how much ammo do you think Ukraine has left to fight with? Uh, there's only so much uh, ammo that we can feed in there. And so now we have German troops that are amassed on the uh, Lithuanian border. Uh, so it looks like NATO's getting ready to send in their troops. Look at that ammo dump blowing up. So it looks like NATO is going to send troops in. I wonder if we're going to commit U.S. troops. It looks like we are. So the escalation to the escalation ladder, as uh, uh, the Duran likes to call it, continues along. Um, and, of course, they're trying to blow up the nuclear power plant in, in uh, Ukraine. Uh, we'll see how good that goes. I imagine by now, I can't believe that, that Russia hasn't got everything shut down there. Um, so... You know, and they're saying they're saying Russia's going to blow up their own nuclear power plant. It was just like Russia's going to blow up their own uh, pipeline. I mean, how much how much can people endure? I mean, I guess you know, I understand most everybody's just out there, you know, like me, just wanting to have a garden, be left alone. But I'm sorry, the world, the world is coming for you, people. Peace out, stay free, and it's good, good, good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor Sanctimodus.